This example asks us to find the equation of a line that passes through 4, 8, and is perpendicular to 2x minus 3y equals 1, and also wants us to write that line in function notation. So let's give it a shot. First, let's review a little bit about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular lines have what we call the negative reciprocal slope. So let's take a look at this one. We want a perpendicular line. We want it to be perpendicular to the one going through 2x minus 3y equals 1. So we have to find the slope of this thing. Okay, so we do that by getting it into slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. If we can get it into that form, then we'll clearly have the slope. So let's do it. Let's just solve for y. So we have 2x minus 3y equals 1. We solve this for y to get negative 3y. I'm subtracting 2x from both sides equals negative 2x plus 1. Now divide both sides by negative 3. y equals positive 2 thirds x minus 1 third. Okay, so here's the slope that we're looking at. 2 thirds but we want the perpendicular slope, right? We're looking for the perpendicular slope. So if this is our slope here, the perpendicular slope, I like to write it with a little upside down t, that means perpendicular, equals the negative reciprocal. So you change the sign, so here we're changing from positive to negative, and you do the reciprocal. So, whoops, three halves. So two thirds becomes three halves, right? You flip them. Okay, so now we have our slope, we have our point. Here's our point, negative four and eight. So this is um, x1, the eight is y1. Okay, let's bring up our equation for point slope form. That's the useful equation when we have a point and the slope. Okay, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Well, y and x stay variables. y1 and x1 get replaced with the point. So we have y minus y1, which is 8, equals m, negative 3 halves, we got that from down here, x minus a negative 4, x minus x1. Okay, well let's get this into slope-intercept form. That's how you almost always want to present your answers. So you do that by solving for y. So let's do it. y minus 8 equals negative 3 halves x plus 4. All right, I'm going to distribute this 3 halves through to both of those terms. y minus 8 equals negative 3 halves x minus 4 divided by 2 is, is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. There we go. And then adding 8 to both sides gives us y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. Okay, the last thing it asks us to do is write it in function notation. That just means you replace the y with f of x. So I'll write my final answer here. f of x equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. Final answer.